Hey guys, so tonight I am going to show you how ridiculously easy it is to make amazing, on plan, dairy free ice cream in the Ninja Creamy. This thing is worth every penny. So I'm gonna put this together tonight, I'm gonna put it in the freezer, and then tomorrow night, you have to freeze the ingredients for 24 hours, and then tomorrow night I will make beautiful ice cream. So check this out, it's got a cup and a half of milk, almond milk. I am using cashew. I am using cashew milk. So cup and a half, I'm doing three cups because I am making a double batch. Because if you, you can just make this, put it in your freezer and leave it, and then any time you're about to break down and kill someone, and you know, you're like really about to lose it, you can make some ice cream. So have it on hand. You all know what I'm talking about? Two, two, two teaspoons of super sweet. So that's four teaspoons because I'm making a double batch. Math, that's right, how many did I do? Did I do three or four? I'm gonna assume I did three. It'll just be super, super sweet. All right, what else? The, the link to this recipe is at the bottom of this video. It's right posted on Facebook, so you can grab it from there. Or if you have Trim Healthy Cookbook. So, um, two teaspoons of vanilla. Two pinches of mineral salt. Where's my salt? Right here. Two pinches of mineral salt. And then a quarter teaspoon of glucky. Half teaspoon, so I'm doubling, so half teaspoon of glucky. All right, listen, easy peasy. Get your whisk. I'm gonna use a little mini one because my big one's dirty. Whisk it up really, really well. That's it, okay. That's the recipe. It says to blend it in your blender for 20 seconds. So that's what I'm gonna do. So why am I mixing it with a whisk? I don't know, why am I mixing it with a whisk? My blender's dirty, that's why. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, in the blender she goes. So yes, I could have just poured it together in here instead of dirtying another dish, but why didn't I do that? I have my reasons, because I forgot. All right, now comes the magic part. There's a maximum line on here. I'm gonna not even go that far because this make, this brings it to about there, I think, if I remember right. Vanilla, done. Tummy tucking ice cream. Going in the freezer, done, done. Secondly, the next batch that I'm gonna make is peppermint chocolate chip. Mint chocolate chip, baby. All right, let's do half a teaspoon of peppermint extract and then we're gonna taste it. I don't wanna overpower it. And then, these are my um, natural food coloring from I can't remember. Bacon, <laughs> I mean, <gasps> I got bacon cooking. Yellow and blue make green, right? Right, so let's try it. I've got peppermint flavor and yellow and blue. Let's see if we get some green ice cream. Not nearly green enough. We need more than that. Couple more drops each. Nice mint green color on our ice cream. Let's taste it. It needs just a tad more, so I'd say a teaspoon. 
instead of a half a teaspoon of mint. Now let's see. Perfection. All right, pour that in your Ninja Creamy. And then tomorrow, we're gonna zing that up. I'll make this one for you. We're gonna zing that up in the Ninja Creamy, add some Trim Healthy Mama chocolate chips, and gonna have amazing mint chocolate chip ice cream that if, with the chocolate chips, if I only put a teaspoon, y'all, in this whole thing and chop them up, it's gonna be a fuel pull. A fuel pull. If you are new to the Trim Healthy Mama plan, that means it's low fat and low carb. And actually, tummy tucking ice cream, especially if I leave out, if I were to leave out the chocolate chips and just, oh, if I leave out the chocolate chips and put my handy chocolate syrup from Trim Healthy Mama, it is an ultra fuel pull, y'all. Ultra. That means stupid low. You might as well be eating a bowl full of air because there's nothing in it that's going to, nothing. Come back tomorrow and show you all how the Ninja Creamy does. Okay, so it's been 24 hours. This is my mint ice cream that I made last night. And I'm gonna show you how this Ninja Creamy works. So my ingredients are solid. They are frozen solid. So, and this is again, the tummy tucking ice cream from Trim Healthy Cookbook. So we take our little cup, put the ice cream in, and put the top on. Okay, so we put this in our thing. I don't know what you want to call it. Put it in our machine and turn and it snaps into place. And once it snaps into place, we turn the power on and we say ice cream, sorbet, smoothies, light ice cream, gelato, or milkshake. In this case, it's light ice cream. So when you're making a cream, an ice cream that isn't full of heavy cream, you need to use the light ice cream setting. So I'm going to go ahead and start it and I will probably speed up the video because it takes about three minutes. Okay, so our creamy is done. However, light ice cream usually takes a second run. If it's not creamy on the first attempt, you just, there's a setting for respin and it respins it again with the tummy tucking ice cream in the recipe it tells you oh that's right there's a button to release in the tummy tucking ice cream recipe it tells you to add a couple tablespoons of almond milk right before you blend so instead of adding that right at the beginning what I've been doing with the tummy tucking is I run it through this doesn't look creamy on the top, but if you can see, look, why am I doing it with my finger? I don't know. Look how creamy that is. It is creamy. Oh my word. Oh my word. Okay. So for the mix-ins, this is what you do. You make a little hole in the center of your ice cream, a little hole, pour in your mix-ins. I'm gonna pour in Trim Healthy Mama chocolate chips. I'm gonna do probably, Oh, about one and a half tablespoons. I could also put some handy chocolate syrup in here and have a swirl, but I'm just gonna do mint chocolate chip. So put my cover back on. Put it back in my machine. And put it on mix-ins. Okay, so we've run it through the mix-ins. Let's go take a look. Seriously. Okay, so look at this mint chocolate chip ice cream, you guys. Look at this. Tummy tucking. This is an S, but only lightly because it's only got a tablespoon. And honestly, I'm not gonna eat the whole serving at once, so it's probably closer to a fuel pull. If I had left the chocolate chips out, it'd be a solid ultra fuel pull. So let's move my... Let's check this out. So good. This 
this makes about two servings by the looks of it, but really you can eat the whole thing. Yeah, you can. And from what I've found, you can put it back in the freezer and it stays soft for the ones that have fat in them. I have not tried putting the tummy tucking ice cream back in the freezer yet. I'll do that with this. <clears throat> but all you have to do is if it gets too hard, when you put it back in the freezer, the next time you go to eat it, if it's too firm, you put it on respin. Two seconds. Okay. Yeah. So there we go. Tummy tucking, fuel pull, deliciousness. Look at that. Hmm. Does an amazing job. Okay. There you go. That's my review of the Ninja Creamy. I love it. I give it 10 wooden spoons. I don't know. What is our scale? Brian Pans, 10 Gordon Ramsay's. I give it 10 Gordon Ramsay's. I hope you like this video. If you do, please comment below. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. I appreciate your support. Have a wonderful day.